Here's a game that came out three years ago on PlayStation, and now it's finally released on Xbox. So how does Kena Bridge of Spirits run on Xbox Series S versus Series X versus PS5? It's relatively a small sized game, 21.4 gigabytes on Xbox Series S and X, and 20.7 gigabytes on PS5. Loading times are up next. Starting off from dashboard takes about 12 to 13 seconds on all three consoles. Xbox Series X is about a second faster, so I guess it's the winner. Now Xbox also has quick resume. That's really useful for single player games like this. That gets you back in the game in about five seconds. PS5 does have activity cards, which take you about 10 seconds. Keep in mind with quick resume, you'll be starting exactly where you left off. While on PS5, you actually start at the most recent checkpoint. I don't think quick resume gets appreciated enough. It's like a magic feature. PS5 still doesn't have anything that comes close, and I don't think PS5 Pro will have anything either. In terms of the graphics, the visuals, this is a decent looking game. It doesn't have some insane visuals, but the art style is pretty good. On Xbox Series S, there's just one default mode and it's 30 FPS. Series S does run this game at 4K dynamic. Quality mode on Series X and PS5 also run at 4K dynamic and 30 FPS. The real difference here is the lighting, the shadows, which seem to be a slightly higher quality on the Series X and PS5. Xbox Series X and PS5 do also get a performance mode, which reduces the resolution slightly to around 1800p, but increases that target frame rate to 60 FPS. Visually, the difference between the two modes is so small, I really don't get why a 30 FPS mode even exists. Both the Series X and PS5 look similar. There's some subtle differences in the lighting, but overall things look identical. Now let's talk about the FPS. In quality mode, Xbox Series S does get some minor drops to 29. These are rare though, so things are stable for the most part. Series X and PS5 are both a solid lock 30 FPS. In performance mode, things aren't as perfect as quality mode. There are drops on both consoles. It's not that bad though, only a frame here and there. I did note slightly more drops on Xbox Series X but overall honestly it's almost identical performance and there's really no clear winner. I guess the big loser is the Series S it's 30 FPS. I'm not sure why there isn't a performance mode on the Series S. I mean just give us 1440p or even 1080p resolution with the 60 FPS mode. So that's what you need to know about Kena Bridge of Spirits on Xbox Series S versus Series X versus PS5. For the rest of the video check out some more side by side comparisons with that FPS counter shown. Over here, Kena. There's something in the ground. I did a force
He's forgotten who he is. We need to find three relics to help him remember. The forest is huge. How do we know where to look? Maybe Mr. Rusu can help us. His house is up that way. 